Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about calendar ratio spread using Nifty. This is a weekly trade. This is yet another interesting strategy where we make either a no loss or it is like a minimum loss strategy overall. So the capital required for this is like 1.25 lakhs. In this video, I have given manual backtesting for the last 21 weeks in Nifty weekly options. In this again absolutely no adjustment is needed so it is very much suitable for working professionals and part-time traders disclaimer this is only for educational purposes and please do your own research before taking any trade this is not a recommendation but just my view so let's get into the core of the strategy so entry as with the previous videos we have seen like we are going to enter this trade like the previous week expiry that is a thursday at 9 30 a.m in the morning and we will be exiting on the expiry day again in the morning 9.30 am so that we can carry out the expiry trade if we have on that expiry day. So the rule for this is like we buy one lot of 200 strikes away ATM call and put for the current week expiry and sell two lots of 500 strike away ATM call and put in the next week expiry. So generally calendar is spread as would have known like we used to like uh, uh, buy a current week expiry and sell the next week expiry or the vice versa like uh, we buy uh, the, we sell the current week expiry and we buy the uh, last week uh, the next week expiry it can be like weekly or monthly say so suppose you have like sold a monthly expiry then for protection we can buy like a weekly expiry which will be like very little cost for hedging so that can also be done but in this we are going to do a calendar spread along with the ratio spread where we are going to do like 1 is to 2 where 1 is for the current expiry we are going to buy and 2 will be the sell position for the next week that we are going to sell we are going to do in both call and put options that is like we are again being non-directional as we are not completely sure that where the market is headed so this is the actual rule for this strategy let us see say for example Say suppose Nifty is at 16300, we buy one lot of 1600 call and put for the current week expiry and we also sell two lots of like uh, 500 points away which is 15800 put and 16800 call in the next week expiry. So I'll just give you the table on what is it like uh, for the last 21 weeks how it has happened and I'll take you to op store to explain you better. So in this let me just take an example of 2nd June where we have made 7700 profit. Let me take you to op store. So it is 2nd June. So 2nd June is the expiry date. So 26th June, 26th May we would have entered. 2nd June is the expiry. And here again 2nd June is the expiry. This is for the current week. So current 200 points away we are going to buy call and put. So ATM is 1600 here. So 15900 put we will buy one lot and 16300 call we will be buying one lot. And for the next week again we would have entered in 26th of May and our payoff chart is second only and our expiry should be 9th of June and here as we saw like 1680 so 500 points away is 15600 put will be selling two lots 16600 put will be selling two lots so once we, again we have to change the expiry and the payoff graph will look something like this so let's see where it ends on the 2nd of June so the buy side we see like it has ended at minus 177 loss and in the other side which is the sell side we got a profit of 9500 so we can just see here that's what i would have mentioned here sorry like one side it is like a minus 1777 the other side it is 9545 so we would have made profit here so this is how it is let me explain two more cases so that you can be more clarity for you the next one 
should be on the loss making side that we usually see which is 24th of March so for 24th of March we would have entered on 17th of March this is 24th of March Seventeen two hundred, so seventeen thousand put we will buy one lot. Seventeen four hundred call will buy one lot. Similarly, for the other side, it is expiry is twenty fourth March, so we would have entered on seventeenth March. The other expiry is 31st of March. So 16,700 we are going to sell two lots. 17,700 we will sell two lots. We have to change it again so that the payoff will look something like this. So one side it is 12,000 loss, the other side is 8,600 profit, so 8,800 8, profit. So here you can see like a market has like a, from 17,200 it is almost, it is in the same place. In that case, we are making a loss here, but last case when we saw it was a, it was a little move was there and hence we were making profit. So we will see one more case where we make profit again, then we will come to discussion like 31st March, the very next week. So 24th March, 31st March. 17200 as we saw like it was in the same position of last week so we will take the same strikes which is 17000 put and 17400 call will buy one lot each and for this 24th march again 16700 Two lots, seventeen hundred two lots will sell. We have to change this again to thirty one. Now let's see what's happening on thirty first in the buy side in the current week. We are running in a loss of eight thousand. Here also market has moved three hundred points. Here again 16,000 profit, the other side it was 8,700 loss. Okay, so in this we can see like, like uh, many cases you see there will be like a little, the profit when you see it can be like even 7,000, 5,000, 4,000 which is almost 5,000, 3,800 which is almost 4,000. So in this few cases there will be very good profit because usually market moves that we know. So those cases there will be a good profit. In other cases, you see, like there will be loss. Even if there is a loss, it is three thousand six hundred, two thousand eight hundred, minus nine sixty, minus thousand, minus thousand, minus one hundred and thirty three, minus one ninety five, minus twenty five. This these three digit numbers, two digit number are like uh, we need not bother about. So you can see like a total number of uh, weeks that we are going to lose, is, which is like kind of usually different in the strategies that we see. We always see like uh, the probability of percentage would be more for us, which is at least would be like more than 60% or even the conservative side, we can say more than 50%. But this is a strategy that we are discussing where our probability of profitable week is only 48%. So as we saw like out of 21 weeks, only 10 weeks are profitable, which makes like 48% uh, of the weeks that we have back tested. 
but still the overall profit is around 26000 which comes around 1250 per week which is roughly 4% per month so this is a strategy where it is like kind of even though market moves wherever it was like you can see like 24th of february was a wild move of ukraine russia war and again 24th march wherever you see like there is a very big number 12000 15000 here again 18000 21000 and again 18,000, 22,000, these are bigs were more and there were like so much of uh, market movement was there whenever you see, wherever you see, more than 10,000 point is there but still if you see like maybe it would have went and came back to the normal state so there would be a profit, big profit but still wherever market goes you are not going to lose very big but when you are making somewhat like a profit that profit can be very huge if you continue for a over a long period of time so this is actually a stress-free strategy where you need not totally see anything because in, even in other strategies we see like uh, there can be big loss and if we keep continuing to do the same strategy for quite some months then we will end up in a very good profit or so. But this is some strategy, yes we will end up in loss at few months but whenever there is a loss there won't be a very big loss that will trouble us in our sleep or anything. So we can have this position and we need not keep seeing where SGS Nifty is, where Dow Jones is or where NASDAQ is. We can just sleep uh, peacefully and we can just hope like wherever it goes, we are going to make profit at the end of the day. So I'll give you a summary of how it has turned out month over month. So you can see February was like only 1% profit out of the four weeks because two weeks were in loss, two weeks were in profit. March was a very good month where we had like a uh, out of again out of four weeks to five weeks sorry two weeks were lost but this was a very good week where we made very good profit and two other week also good profit so we ended up eight percent april again nothing to complain seven percent profit which is again three weeks profit and one week loss may month was a loss making month where you see like all the four weeks were in loss it is so someone would have started even in the month of march even if you are losing like even in, from 28th of April, you can see like five consecutive weeks were making loss. But still the loss will not be more than 3,000, 2,700, 3,000, 4,400, which is not a very big deal and you can digest that. Because the next very week we are going to make some of the previous week also you made 5,000. So that is the capacity of the strategy. In June month, still we had one more week that I have not posted yet. So if we include that, I don't know where it is going to end. But right now I can see that it is like 6% return, mainly because of the second June was a very big profit. And two weeks were kind of minimal loss and one week was like minimal profit again. So overall, if you see, it's a very good uh, return on investment for the capital deployed. So you can see like 21% for almost 5%, maybe like at least more than 45% per year, which is very good return. So you can definitely try this strategy. And as I said previously, like we, as in other videos also, we usually close the trade in the morning so that we can do other trades on the expiry date. Or if you want, you can just hold on to the trade the end as well. It's totally up to you. It can be personalized as and when, how you want. Maybe instead of uh, the current week and next week, one is to two ratio, we can try other ratio as well. And you can like even do buy, sell, interchanging as well with the different ratios and see whichever suits you so that you can make more profit and you can like uh, try any means to make uh, money and if it is good enough then you can even share it with us so that uh, we can try back testing and help others in finding the best strategy for them as well. Thank you for watching the video. We will post some other interesting video in the next week. Thank you.